Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. One, two, three. Microphone check. Check, 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 check. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, welcome. A welcome back and a happy Thursday. Thursday. Week is almost done. One more day to the weekend. I felt like this week has gone by fast, but I don't know if it's because I'm playing two different games now. Is that a possibility? Cleo says it's not going fast for her. But I'm ready for the weekend. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Cleo and I have plans for the weekend. What are the plans? We're going to chill out. That's the plan for the weekend. <laughs> We're not quite there. One more day. But a uh, happy Thursday nonetheless. Uh, I am, of course, Fanable. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to my channel. We are here to continue more Jedi Survivor. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We last played on Tuesday. And we, um, we have been on... Not the planet. I believe it's the moon. Kobo? Koba? Koba? Kobo? Um, and, uh, a surprise for me anyways, not being, uh, well versed in the game, not knowing anything about the game before we started playing, to come upon, like, a, a kind of large open map. You can't really describe this game as an open world game, I don't feel like. Although, I mean, like, at what point can you consider a game an open world game if you also have, like, switching between planets? Because eventually, like, if, you're, if your planet has enough of an open map, why can't it be an open world game and you just simply are switching between these large open maps? I don't think this game is at that level yet, but, like, for example, if you went to, like, a bunch of different planets and each one was the size of like a horizon map or a GTA map and those are all considered open world games right I don't think this game is that that quite that size but considering like uh, the whole beginning of the game on Coruscant and even the beginning of Kobo was uh, kind of like the standard linear paths you're kind of forced only with slight off beaten paths that you can take and then we op came into this area where there's like big open stretches of area, things to do. There's a bunch of different animals running around and stuff. So, yeah, that was an interesting surprise. Uh, I was not expecting that for this game. I figured it was just going to be like the same kind of layout of the of the first game, just a, a straight path adventure game, you know, along the lines of, like, Last of Us and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, we... Uh, that's where we he left off. We're still on uh, Kobo. We did finally find uh, Grease, and he's running a, a cantina in um, Rambler's Reach on the moon, and we, I mean, we did a bunch of stuff yesterday. We, we, we fought a Rancor. That was a fun boss fight. I know that these are probably types of boss fights. I mean, this is true for even, like, Souls born games, Souls-like games, where, you know, if you can't fight, if you can't defeat one or you don't feel comfortable defeating, you can always leave and come back. But I actually really enjoyed fighting the Rancor. It felt, it felt Souls-like, you know, having to learn its move sets to take him down, even if we weren't, like, super powerful at the time. So that was fun. I, I liked that fight. Then we came across, as far as, like, the main story goes, we did meet, what is his name, Ravis? the leader of the raiders we met him took down one of his lieutenants i don't know some guy we ended up falling down into an underground passage which i think turned out to be like an ancient jedi location on the, on the moon and we met an old an old and uh, an old droid that we're calling z who is from the High Republic era. And that's kind of where we left off. We ended up coming back up to the surface, came back to the cantina, uh, talked to them about... Now, of course, Grease and probably others are going, oh, is there 
treasure we can, you know, unearth from down there. But yeah, that's more more or less where we left off. I wouldn't say it was like a big story beat cliffhanger or anything that we left off with, but that's where we are. So we're going to continue on the moon, presumably. I don't know when we're leaving next or when we should be leaving next to go somewhere else. I guess we'll wait and see. But I'm just going to jump in and see what else. They're, they they described more like RPG, almost like MMORPG gameplay elements where we can help help the, the town and upgrade it and get things worked on, which actually sounds a lot of fun to me. So we'll have to see if we're going to start doing that or not. Um, I, I might... The game, for the most part, for the entire beginning, has been running pretty smooth. We've talked about this at length. The game is known for being kind of power-hungry and not super well-optimized on the PC version, but for the most part, it's been running pretty well. Uh, until we got to this open area on the moon. Then and we've been getting a, a bit of, like, drops. And I've been, I've been tempted to do DLSS. We've had DLSS off. Game looks great and everything. But, especially since we're back in the town, let's let's try turning it back on again. I couldn't tell whether or not we had uh, the AMD Fidelity FX was turned on by default. And that was making some weird fuzzy visuals around edges. I thought it made the lightsabers look really bad, so we turned that off. And then I wasn't sure whether or not DLSS was doing something similar. But I'm going to turn it back on because I know we're back in the open area. And I want it to run a little smoother. So we're going to put that back on. Obviously, if it comes to it, we can always turn down some of this stuff. I already turned down anti-aliasing a little bit. And, you know, we could always turn down the post-processing stuff if we needed to. But let's try the quality setting on NVIDIA uh, at DLSS for now. And we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Is it too bright, I wonder? I was pondering this, re-watching parts of last stream when I was doing the chapter list. And I'm wondering if I made it too bright... Let's turn it down, like, just a half, half a point. All right. Anyway, so that's where we are. And we're going to continue off right there. Again, welcome back, everybody, and a happy Thursday to you. I hope all of your weeks have gone well. I hope you're all staying chill, staying relaxed. Um, and, of course, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. I very, very much appreciate it. Subscribe, share, all of the good things. Let's get started. Let's go. Did I, like, jump into existence? <laughs> it's like the game loaded in and we we teleported into being. I guess it is the idea that I stood up from meditating and I went, yeah, poof. <laughs> is that what happened? Is there any new things that we can add? BD1, for example. Did we get any new parts? Wait, what? We got new scrapyard parts for, for BD? Um... What is it? What is the difference? It just looks like pieces are like poking out. Is this what we had on? I think it was. How did I not notice that little bit popping out of the side like that? This one's ready to go. Yeah, that's what we had on. Yeah, like we look. did. I just. For some reason, I didn't notice that piece hanging out there on the side. I don't know how I feel about that. And this bit right here, where it looks like it's kind of like... It's a side compartment door that's opened up with little lights sticking out. Okay, so we did get scrapyard legs, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember getting these. Let's go ahead and switch to let's let's switch him up a little bit. I, like I said, I'm not I'm not keen on the assembly one, which reminds me of the C3PO. 
armorless C-3PO. It, it just looks too exposed. You're all set, BD. What about colors? Have we got any new materials? You have to have, right? Ooh, look at that. Shiny. Metal. Hmm. I noted that we, we went with a yellow BD in the first game, so I'm kind of wanting to come back to yellow at some point. I don't know if I like the shiny yellow. Yeah. It's still... Does that make him look more yellow with less polish? I think I might have to wait for an actual solid metal color. I like the metal uh, sheen on these, though. I'm almost... I'm almost kind of like... I think I like the metal red. You like that? Yeah. Should we go with the red for a little bit? Yeah. And then, of course, we do have the secondaries with these color options now, too. Mm -hmm. It is like Iron Man. Iron BD Man. Yeah. Or Iron BD. Why did I think we had like a more gold color option somewhere else? I don't know how I feel about these mixes. Okay, this is the accent that we had on there. I'm changing him so much. It's like I don't even know him anymore. He's like a completely different droid. Now I'm second guessing the red color t altogether. <laughs> I don't even remember what I had him on before. Was it this? I think it was. We'll just leave him for the moment. New look for you, BD. Same green no. attitude. It's not a new look. It's exactly the same. Although maybe I'll put the the shiny in the accent there on the top. Let's I'll get put to the work. gold that or that yellow metal on them. Was it the accent that I currently have? Yeah, it is. Ooh, the blue actually kind of looks nice. I don't know, maybe I should just do the color on these. What do you think, red or yellow? Really? You don't like the red? <laughs> okay. Keep it shiny or lower the polish down? Yeah, see, even that's bothering me. Like, the yellow the yellow that's on his shoulder pad right now, that's the yellow color I'm wanting for BD. That's what I just want to make his main body be, honestly. Haven't found anything like that yet. Sadly. Sadly. Alright, where to? What am I doing? I, I know that they said, like, we can help with the area. Um, we haven't visited the shop yet. Gonk, gonk. Yeah, we have more people to talk to, or no more stuff to Listen, talk about. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. <laughs> oh, we got a an entry for him now. Washed up trader whose best days are behind him. Moran. Moran. Walls away. Wiles away is ours in a saloon bemoaning the empire that destroyed his livelihood. Talk later, hmm? Hmm? You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? 
Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You can't have... borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Cal. <laughs> what? Hey, Z. Know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Cree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes, but all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? So how long have you known both? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? Bode. A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. I don't know what to call Bode. I, I think I've called him Bode more often than not, because that's how it looks at it. But I could have sworn I heard somebody pronunciate his name as, like, Boda? I don't know. This we'll find out. Is terrible. Uh, 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 you what drink? I suggested sir. Well, what do I know about drinks? Give me a spoon and I'll kill you six ways blindfolded before I stir some stupid moof juice with it. <laughs> I like her. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So, how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, Bud. I got your back, brother. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this okay. lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. Well, I don't know who, who pronunciated his name differently before, but Cal definitely just called him Bode. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian Brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha, <laughs> no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pottery. Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylunes, you hear? Place could use a little trouble. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. All right, let's go out, I guess. Blind. So yeah, let's see what we can do in here. Take a look at what I have. All goods acquired completely legally. Thank you very oh, much. What? This is what we're doing with the shards? Ooh, that's a Mysterious nice key code. This key code will open the locked door in Doma shop. What? So, priorite shards buy us, like, cosmetics? Gosh. I don't know how that's I feel about favorites. a lot of these. This one... This is just a moustache. 
I'm not really feeling any of these <laughs> hairstyles. <laughs> New shirt. Won't find Who's that anywhere with that? else. I wish we weren't seeing it in holog a holographic state. Can we not look at it where it's not in a hologram form? So we can know it exactly how it looks, like the colors and whatnot. Ooh, I want to see okay, the lighting. Music track? Dude, we only have 12 of these bloody shards so far. It's making me hesitant to uh, purchase this. Yeah, that really bugs me. I mean, on one hand, it's like, yeah, I get it. It's a Star Wars universe, so it's being clever with the hologram. But, nah, just just ha show me Cal and show the outfit on Cal in a well-lit area. So I can gauge these colors exactly as they are. This is neat, though. But yeah, we need... I don't think we need to buy anything just yet. Let's wait. Definitely not buying anything. I'm very curious about the mysterious key code. What is the Come point of that? What? Time. We want a key code that lets us... What is it? Here? Well... Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. You hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Okay. Shoot. I just realized my overlay is not working. I'm gonna have to quit out and restore that. Welcome. So yeah, there's so there's a back room over here then, yeah. And I'm assuming we have not kicked in any auto saves, so we need to save. If I need to restart the game. I need a save point that's closer. I don't want to have to come down to the basement every time. I guess we could have just stayed outside. We could have gone over next door. Let's stop for a moment. So yeah, so we can fast travel now. Oh yeah, didn't we pick up another perk? We did. Block meter is increased. Yeah, let's put that on. Uh, let's let's see, keep going. Just in case. Alright. Let me restart the game real quick. Let's see, why is my overlay not working? That is the question. Huh. Well, I'm getting I'm getting the overlay FPS counter. I only just now noticed that. Has that been in the corner this entire stream? I see. Uh, no, I don't think it was. 
So if the counter wasn't in the corner, then it must be working now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's working now. Don't think we need that though, so I'm gonna disable it. This fun bit, always optimizing. Give me some music during the optimization. <laughs> yeah, it's like he pops up out of the ground, but yeah, I guess it's supposed to be him, like, jumping up off the floor. So is there a reason to go back in here in the smugglers? I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm wanting to look out of morbid curiosity. The smugglers tunnels. Because <clears throat> so we fell down the hole... But presumably, we wouldn't have to fall down the hole again. So it makes me wonder if, uh, if there's stuff that we could have done or discovered. There's a bunch of locked doors back here, but that's in the saloon. But then what are all these? These doors and openings. One's definitely the shield. Oh, doggone it. Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, where did we f fall down around here? stuff to discover down here. A crate! Yes. Well, that's good. We can breathe underwater already. Oh, nice. We got some new pants down here. Someone left their pants down here. Definitely worth coming back down here. Oh, I got it. Just won't open. Okay, well. This blocked path. Okay, so there's a number of things that we need to, or that we have to wait and come back to, so we can figure out what what it is we need. Go down. 
So I'll go down. We're gonna grab him. happen if you opened if you ignited a lightsaber underwater could it ignite would it start just boiling the water hmm. okay this is where we fell down all right, so we can return back down there. Doesn't look like there's anything we've missed down here. No unopened doors, no crates. And then there's the elevator. But the fact that we can take the elevator back down here means we, there's got to be something else that we need to do in the area at some point. Other than coming here. We'll have to find another way around. Well, we got a couple things. I mean, I guess we can take a look over there. But, yeah, it seems... It doesn't seem like there's anything down here to get for the moment. Okay, so there's this thing here. Okay, so I didn't see this down there. Maybe we didn't discover it. But yeah, I don't know... I don't know what these bloody things do. Or what we're supposed to do to them. Hmm... Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Why was that back down again? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I guess it would be good to come down here if you had missed something. Like, if for some reason you didn't go over there and grab the chest. Wait a minute, what about... Okay, so yeah, this is the elevator back up. Is there not any other doors we can get access to? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well... I guess we're going back to the surface. Forest Array. This is the Forest Gate. So that's the that's our main objective. Should we explore a bit? Check out some stuff. Still haven't come across a stable. Lots of closed doors. I don't know. This is definitely feeling very open world to me. 
Maybe the map's not, like, gigantic, gigantic, but it's pretty damn big. Hello. Hey, you! Yes? You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. What kind of eyes? Ravis has got a watchtower in the valley. Maybe I'll check it out. Figured you'd say that. Head towards the spires. Can't miss it. Of course, they won't miss you either. You know, because of the watchtower. Investigate the Raider Watchtower. Prospector is wary of anyone fighting the Raiders. Seems like Ravis has a watchtower in Rambler's Reach, garrisoned with raiders. Taking it out might make things a little safer. Is this going to be like a usual thing that we got to do? So it's over here. Where are we? So we need to go straight and to the left. Hello there. Huh? Twenty cycles ago. Heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there. See what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. <laughs> He's not that curious. So we got openings over here. We... Oh, it just says undiscovered area. All right, we'll put a pin in that undiscovered area. Let's take care of these this raider problem, or die trying. Okay, so yeah, this is where we were trying to save originally. Is that robot back over here that we never killed? Yes. I recognize you. Hey, we got it. A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. You recognize us? Who are you? You're friends with Grease, right? Yeah. If he asks about the 50 credits, say, may or may not owe him. Tell him I left the planet. I think I'll stay out of this. If you won't lie for strangers, who will you lie for? That's a weird, random thing to say to us. Like, why even bring that up? <laughs> we, don't, we don't even know you. Okay, so we want to take this tower down, yeah? How do we get up to said tower? Speaking of cat bats, come back cat bat! Hmm. 
Alright then. We need the one locked door over there. How do we do this? I hope this isn't a situation where I can't access this until I get like a later ability or tool or something. That bugs me. Bugs me when that happens in games and there's no way to know. Some games have like little stuff. I want to say God of War, maybe even The Last of Us had situations where if you were looking at something or trying to get somewhere, eventually they would be like, I don't think I can do this yet. Or Horizon, I think, may do that too with Aloy. Like, I'm not sure we can do that yet. We don't have the means to get to this area yet. Hmm. Could we jump from up there down there without getting ourselves killed? I want to grab that. Let me grab that. climb any of this? We have a section up top here. Maybe we could get across from there over to there, but that makes me feel like we gotta come back over here and explore all this to do this. Set up those rocks. What's going on with this random, these random lights? Gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oni, you getting sleepy. Our poor old Oni. I mean, he's in his 90s. You can, you can forgive him for being a bit tired every once in a while. Oni, thanks for stopping in. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Thanks for stopping in, Oni. Get good sleep. And I will catch you tomorrow, sir. Yes. You need to finish Fallen Order. I would say then you should go and try to play this game, but... Uh, it's hard to say if you'd be able to run this or not. I'm already getting some, some frame drops in this open world area, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's been optimized. Maybe if you turn down graphics, you might be able to do it. Because, yeah, the game has, like, these big open world areas now. Which is neat. Which is neat. The Warlord Standard. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Go beat Fallen Order, Oni. Beat it. A broken standard seeming to indicate this tower was once under the command of someone known as the Warlord of Terror. Uh, tower. I said Terror. <laughs> that would be better. Warlord of the Tower. That such a name would belong originally to a Bedlam Raider seems unlikely given their subservience to Ravis. I need to clear my mind. Do we have any new training by chance? Nope. I would hope if we get some new training, it'll tell us. And then we can just do it. But again, thank you. Thank you, Oni. And uh, for anyone else watching, don't forget to hit that like button. Be like Oni. Hit that like button. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
not run into anybody yet. All we've seen, seen so far is that patrol outside. Can we climb this? Efficient way to use a robot. beeping. What is beeping? Something's beeping. This is my town. What do you want? To offer you something. A proposal. A brokered alliance. Bedlam Raiders were formed of many dis disparate, disparate groups of bandits, miscreants, and blasters for hire. One by one, Ravis bought them in, brought them into the fold through silver-tongued diplomacy and blood-soaked persuasion. I don't know if the beeping is like an ambient sound that we're hearing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got a, a bun hairstyle. We're just gonna sprout some extra hair. Awkward in the way we're sitting. Okay, so we're done. We finished it. jump over on that side see I mean is there are certain places that we could access earlier if we turn the um, if we turn no fall damage on uh -huh. 
What is going on over here? Is this supposed to be just what? Shimmering light on the water? Why does it look like that? See, and like there's uh there's some kind of blurriness that I wonder if the DLS is causing that too. Koho, hello, welcome, and thank you for the dono. Very, very much appreciated. Welcome to the stream and happy Thursday to you. Yeah, let's see what happens if we turn off. I want like a direct comparison because honestly, I can I can never really tell. So let's turn it off. Uh, no, the same kind of like blurriness is still there. So I don't think DLSS is causing that. So again, I'm gonna leave it on, assuming that it is giving us a little bit of a bonus. Well, now that I say that, actually, I think it does. I think we, it is making it worse. <laughs> I don't know. Just ever so slightly, I think it is. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Let's leave it off for the moment and see how well the... Uh, We'll see how well the... game runs in this open world. Really? I... <laughs> I mean, honestly, four hours doesn't sound too bad. I'm kind of worried. I shouldn't say worried. But I'm I'm half expecting that it's gonna take me forever to do these open areas. Which is fine. I mean the longer and more gameplay content there is, the better, in my opinion. whole bunch of different places we can go but not every single place we can go is accessible right now I don't know what this is we can try to check this out looks like we have two different access points there's a whole bunch of areas to explore that we can Yeah, I think it was helping a little bit. I'm noticing some micro stutters. One way door. So we got this access point that we cannot do. What in the world do we need to upgrade to get through this thing? This thing looks like we could just cut it open with our lightsaber. And we can't take this down either. 
Let's take this to Domas. Ah! What the heck? You followed me all the way over here? I need a mini map. That's the one thing I wouldn't mind having is, is some kind of mini map. I keep getting myself turned around too easily. Ah. Been a long time, haven't we? I feel like we came along here. I don't know. There's a crate here, so we definitely did it. That's not moving. <laughs> this building is definitely different than the rest. All right, Co. Thanks for stopping in again. Thank you for the dono. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, have a good night. Have a good rest. Sneak up on him. Nope. Gosh, we got all these places we can't access. Maybe we just need to focus on doing more of the story beats and then do some exploring when we actually have more tools, more abilities. Wait, can we go up here? Yes, we can. I forgot we can do this on the fly. Uh, I don't 
don't know how I feel about that. Now, when do we get access to more colors? Or do we just get certain pants that don't have customization for colors? Like, I, I kind of like these. I like these boots. But yeah, it's a shame that there's not any colors. Hey, MP. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. I like these original pants, to be honest. They're good. I know we've been running the dark blue. But I do like these brown ones. Which is pretty much the same as these ones. Could switch pants. Just go with these new ones. At least something different. <laughs> there's no there's no uh, lightsaber emoji it's a damn shame I like the glove that he has on his left hand from the original outfit I'm tempted to use this but I'm not sure if I care for any of the colors is this white too clean or maybe it's just right. I don't know. And then I don't know if the blue with the blue. Although, let me see. Because we can keep the jacket. Maybe just see if there's a different color that works better. That's kind of a nice look. That kind of works well with the blue shirt, doesn't it? I like this with these pants, too. I don't know. Too many choices. This is making me feel like we need to customize BD. I wish we could customize BD on the fly like this. It's really, really nice that they actually have these this customizations options that you can do anytime you want. How do we feel about this new hairstyle? The, the original? I guess it's not a new hairstyle, it's the original one. Do we like the new, more well-kept? Or do we like the old, unkept? I can't ask Cleo's opinion. She's passed out. I kind of like his old hairstyle. It's not as bad as some of the ones we've seen at the shop. I can't decide, MP. Can't decide.
No. Well, not right now, anyways. She says she only wants to play the other game while I'm, like, playing Ark, where there's not, like, a whole lot of story beats going on. So that's probably what she's going to be planning on doing, but she's she's sleeping right now. You've gotten yourself into a real mess, haven't you, Turgle? Always on the run, scraping by for credits. Everyone hates me. Doesn't matter where I go. I'm always alone. Hmm. We found a turgle. Rock hopping turgle finds himself lamenting his sorry lot in life. Even here on a new planet, he finds himself isolated alone. I don't know if knocking these rock formations down has any kind of meaning to it. Okay, so we've been here before. We've got an open crate right here. There is a... S if we can assume that this is an unexplored area right here... I don't know, I can't tell anymore what is and isn't a place that we can maybe explore. <clears throat> See, now we've come around full circle. This is where we were before we dropped down and moved on. Alright, yeah, maybe let's go ahead and move on to the next main mission, because we're, we're, we keep running into places that we can't access, and it seems like it's because we don't have a, like, a skill set or something to be able to do it. Alright, yeah, let's, we're gonna move on. So let's see. Let's move, BD. We need to go to the forest array, which is way over here. So we'll start heading that direction. Hear me? Surely we have a force power that can let us go up slippery slopes.
We're under attack. Wait, is this stuff we can break and get the seeds? It is. Uh, it even just said that. It said seeds can be planted as a garden if one can be found. Hey aboard! Welcome back. How how you doing? Yeah, you can see when, like, uh, it's loading in environments as we're getting closer. That's when we're getting micro stutters. It's whenever there's, like, models loading in as we approach new areas. Nice board. You need to you need to get far and ahead of me, board, in this game, so you can help me when I need it. I think we found the stables. Hey, do. Should we? Let's see. He returns. Hey, Mosey. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? And always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants. Why is whiff this of adrenaline. Stuff floating your out next to her. Your eyes dark for danger. Alert. I call it hunter's eyes. To trap game. A hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. This must be stuff that's supposed to be attached to her belt or s backpack or something. And it's glitched out, floating out in front of her. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Oh well, yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another. For attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Later, BD. All right, well. You certainly look like stables, but... There's nothing I can do here. That's the gate Z told us about. Well, that's where we're heading then. I mean, let's be honest. We could grab something like a, a speedster or something to ride around on. I would take that. <laughs> Even though riding on a mount would be fun. Yeah, I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get through this area. I love exploring and I don't like leaving stuff behind, so it's hard to say. Got a big old landing pad here. We should do this. Whose ship is this? Hearing. Oh, someone above us. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can we get up here? We can. I don't know if we were meant to be able to do that, but we did it anyways. Thursday. What is going on? I see a crate. I want to get that crate, and I also want to go in that tunnel down there. Stop for a moment. One skill point. Kadedrin, how is it going? We have not been using the confusion very much. Or at all. Windows just told me it's going to restart to update outside of active hours. Okay. Just as long as you're not doing it right now while I'm in the middle of playing. Extended hold. First strike against enemies affected by slow will not break the slow effect. Hmm. Let's do this then. Ready to go. That rocket didn't do anything. That's bold crap. pants. Let's look at the new pants. Uh, wait, these are, wait, did we just get new colors for the pants we already had? I think we did. Hmm. Uh, let's, yeah, let's switch to these. 
I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this yellow vest. Let me get some new clothes in general. The problem is this blue glove is throwing me off. I feel like I need to have matching clothes with it. It's bothering me. Bothering me. Yeah, that's that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Cadet, when you played this, did you leave fall damage on? I'm very curious. I've been talking about like I wonder if you can traverse to different places that you normally couldn't if you had the fall damage turn off, or if it's just gonna be that after it detects a certain height that you fall, it's just gonna automatically teleport you back. Hello? Who are you, big guy? Give it a scan, buddy. Butt cam activated. Yeah, I saw it in the settings. It's in the accessibility settings, I think. You can turn fall damage off. What is he eating? Is he eating a droid? That's weird, right? The Bile Maw. Large, thick hided Bile Maw has made a home amongst Kobo's many crags, caves, and crevices. When disturbed, they react fiercely with kicks, bites, spits, and charges. Their hard exterior is resistant to most conventional weaponry, though there are several more tender spots that can be exploited. What does that mean? <laughs> Which tender spots are we talking about? Should we fight that thing? Alright, board. Have fun. Take it easy. default normal difficulty is. I never change the difficulty on first time playing. Well, I guess that's not 100%. Most of the time that's true. We played Dying Light 2 on hard, but I think it was because we had played we had replayed Dying Light 1 on Nightmare and so we were like we went straight into Dying Light 2 right after Dying Light 1 so we were like it wouldn't make sense to go down to an easier difficulty after playing Nightmare Mode. I think that's the only time that I've, I've played on a harder, on the hardest difficulty right from the get-go. The problem is that you never know what the hardest, harder and hardest difficulties are going to entail for a game. And when I'm first playing them, I just want to enjoy them for the story and everything. 
So I always assume that the the normal standard difficulty is the way that they meant the game to be played. If I ever increase the difficulty, it's it's for replays. So the last thing I want to be doing is like trying to enjoy a game, especially a narrative focused game, and then have it end up being like too hard for first time try. And then you're just frustrated when all you're wanting to do is continue the story. We can trade this at Doma's shop. So yeah, I think there was like five difficulty settings at the beginning of this game. I think we picked Jedi Knight. I think it was right in the middle. All right, board. Let's see. Did we missed anything over here? Doesn't look like it start heading towards the objective. There was one crate over here to the right that we saw. Let's see if we can get to that. There you are. As you well, wish. As, as who wishes. We see the crate. Oh, here it is. New shirt, tactical shirt. Mm, yeah, that's definitely a put a pin in it shirt until we get new colors. what this is um to be on i mean i only have one other style right now and i actually wanted to do um is this is this not a double-sided saber what what is the two sabers called that's what i would have thought would have been dual sabers but i i i like the I like the fighting style of having two separate sabers in hand, but I don't know why, but the only reason I'm not doing, yeah, see, so double bladed, I went back to the double bladed because I like doing dual wield, but I don't like the way he looks when he's running. I can't explain it. I don't, I don't, I don't like the way he looks when he's just holding them out and running around. But I like, I like, normally in, in a, in games like this, I like the dual, I like having the separated lightsaber for fighting styles, but, yeah, I don't know. See, I like that too. I like switching from the two lightsabers. You have the one, and then you just pull out the other one like that. I like the speed on this. It's hard to, it's hard to say whether or not the trade-off between 
because these ones the dual wield and has the short range and defense but i mean it's got a little more power and it's got really high speed i mean look at how much more power it has <laughs> And then obviously the single is just run of the mill. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I, I find him. I find him. The look of the way he runs around with the two out looks strange. But those are. I mean, these are the only three that I have. I might go back to doing it again. But I think he looks cool. Like this. Obviously, it's not that different with this. He's just got the one. All right, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so this is what we've come to investigate. These raiders are keeping the Empire at bay. At least they're good for something. And of course, a good friendly reminder, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't yet already. Subscribe, share all the good things. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Here we go. Um, we... Uh, so, yeah, the, here's the problem. We were running everything at max on visuals until we got to the open world. Everything running in Coruscant and the beginning of the moon, Kobo, was super, super smooth. Then we got to the open world area, and then we started getting the micro stutters. So I turned down anti-aliasing. I mean, it says high. Oh, I guess it is high. So we turned it down to just high. We probably could do medium. And then I turned on NVIDIA's DLSS. But see, now that we're going out of the uh, open world, I feel like I could probably turn everything back up now that we don't have the open world loading sections. And it would probably run fine. The array should be out here somewhere. The only way forward is to cut through. But yeah, it's only in the open world that I, that I start getting frame rate drops. And it seems to be it's mostly micro stutters whenever I'm going to certain areas of the map when uh, certain like models and textures start to load in as you approach them, I get micro stutters. You catch that too, BD? We're not alone out here. Looks like it's blocked. Sit tight, PD. Let me see what I can do. Hello. See, that was it's no use bd oh i see i was like what am i activating from all the way over here good to go bd let's try that again what <laughs> i forget that he has rocket rockets on him Seeds. Can't do anything with it without a guard. Don't fall behind. No. Oh. Some
Some of these rock columns are loose. The basalt pillars, huge pillars of brittle, heavy rock populate the basalt forest. Seismic activity deep beneath the planet's crust unroots these stone trees, forcing the structures to erupt in their fully grown form. While the stone is no longer growing, its porous surface provides a scaffolding for rudimentary organic life forms to take root. Scholars refer to these structures as stone sentinels. Am I supposed to do what with them now? No! No! What do you think this array is, buddy? Centauri Kree said it held the key to Tantalor. Z seems to think so, too. Only one way to find out. Empire. I don't think they saw us. Let's move. I mean, we're only playing at 1440p. I wonder whether or not turning the anti-aliasing on... The fullest is even necessary. I honestly could bar barely tell a difference when we turned it back on. It looks nice, though. The game looks great. I need to do, like, a direct comparison with between a game like this and Horizon Forbidden West. Because Horizon Forbidden West looks fantastic. Keep moving, buddy. Fight is riveting. I can't tell who's winning. What? Why are you changing your focus to me? shot this drop pot all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Turf Wars. Drop pod from the Lucre Hulk. Lu Lucre Hulk class battleship used to transport battle droids, other separatist forces to the field during the Clone Wars. Destination coordinates typically unsure. Safe landings, but this pod was overridden and fired in the general area of the Basalt Rift. Shield troopers are deployed wherever the Empire needs to put down insurrections. They are armed with batons, heavy shields. There are few insurgents who can pen penetrate their defenses or stand against their brutal strikes. I know it's a game, but it's like, how many freaking... How many freaking things are they going to introduce technologically-wise that can withstand 
a lightsaber. So they got shields that can withstand a lightsaber. They've got electric batons that can withstand a lightsaber. Lightsabers aren't feeling very special when there's so many other weapons that can <laughs> that can combat them. So parrying their baton attacks will leave them vulnerable. Shields can be dragged away using the force pull. Okay. Why is this here? Let's get a drop on these bucket heads. I'd like to get a drop on the guy with the shield, preferably. If we could. Why did you break my shield? That's not how this is supposed to work. Generations of Raka raised their young here. Then the Empire tore through, shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Raka are aggressive, belligerent creatures, never more so than when defending their nests. This forest variant incubates their eggs for a dozen Kobo moon cycles. Each member defends the clutch as if it was their own. This generation of eggs, however, did not survive the planet's harsh realities. Thrown far enough. Go away. Oh. 
Lyoma's revenge? Lyoma's are notoriously bad temper, often trembling, crushing, pulverizing those caught in the rampage. Even trained Imperial soldiers stand little chance against a Bioma defending its den. Look at these crazy pants. Okay, I'm assuming what we saw was like the the upper part that we don't have yet. Some help, please. Even before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. Of course, back in Kree's day, there was no empire to contend with. What I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Hi, guys. Looking for trouble. That's we? it. We're looking for pets. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Ah, oh, Mother of Moons, that's a relief. I'm useless in a fight. Came to see that incredible High Republic structure. I didn't expect to have to fight off beasts with my field journal. Sorry, rambling. Bad habit. D I'm Toa, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Listen, the Empire is not gonna be happy to find you out here. Why don't you head back to the Reach? Oh, I think I will take you up on that. Couldn't stop talking about the High Republic Chamber of some kind. Further into the forest, she implores you to investigate it in her stead. Alright. We can do that. There's enough rations and supplies here to sustain a rigorous multi day journey. Very scientific instruments, Card cartography tools were also laboriously packed. For the trip. You get a good look at that structure? Only enough to see there's no way I'm getting inside. But we're lucky. It looks intact. If I'm right, it's been out here for centuries. Maybe you'd have better luck than I did. It's right up ahead. Thanks for the tip. Good night, Kadedrin. Good night, sleep tight. Until next time. Okay, so this is the side one. So... I guess we should go left. Should we go save though? Let's go save real quick and then we'll go back that way. Well, let's save and rest for that let's matter. Stop.
catch what they were shooting at? A spy droid. Someone else has eyes out here. Maybe the Raiders? <laughs> oh no! Oh! He took off his arm! Once you've started the heavy attack, you can't dodge or get out of it. I'm glad we saved. Who knows where we would have been. Can we scan that guy before getting into combat? Violent predator known for stalking and aggressively assaulting its prey. Creatures akin to Mogu can be found on planets of varying climate, but their temperament remains largely unchanged. They will seek to grab and slam their targets, lifting and tossing them around, yet even when injured, a Mogu will not relent. Watch out for its grabs. Attack after. <laughs> Mogu man. Good night, Cerebu. You could probably just avoid fighting this thing. Can we sneak up on him? Well, not now. That's a good start. Edie, I need help. I wonder if we could actually take down his other arm. <laughs> Got it. Okay, interesting. Why is this the first time we've had this happen? Damage the enemy who defeated you will restore your loss XP and reveal your life and force. We've always just had it on the ground. That's odd. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually had it on a creature. Good night, Cerebral. Good night, Eevee. Sleep well. And may the force be with you, always. No. We gotta kill this thing, man. We gotta.
Come here, you bastard. I like how his arm lights up still. So we're kind of going away from the rumored objective at this point. Hmm. Well, can I not grab that vine? I can grab this at least. Maybe this is the way we need to go. Maybe Z could tell us more about this. I don't know. We're kind of going around the side, but we're def... Yeah, I guess it's not... Yeah, we have to go here. But I'm curious what is what's up here. Johnny! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Happy. Happy You're Thursday. Close. Just a forest full of beasts and Imperials to get through first. What do we have here? What have we got here? That's what I just said. Oh, more stim. Good. Good, 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 good. I feel like we saw one of these capsules somewhere and we weren't able to get to it. And I cannot for the life of me remember where that was. So I'm glad we came over here first. Can we walk over there? From here? Hold on, we had an opening. Stop here. Come on, buddy. Mm. Is this deep water? Nope. All right, where the heck are we going right now? Maybe we need to go back. <laughs> We're going so off the path. This is the side mission. This is the main mission. Maybe this is the way we need to go to get to the main mission? Uh, that's po It's possible. Maybe we need to go back. I think we're going the way to get to the main mission right now. So let's go back. Finish the side mission first. Alright, well, I thought we were, like, entering an exclusive area, but this area is just as big as the last. I'm going to turn anti alias thing back down. Put DLS back on. I mean, do we even need... Let's see what anti alias thing looks like on medium. I honestly... I can barely tell. I mean, I'm looking at the edges... I honestly, I can't. I can't. I can barely tell the anti alias thing is doing much. So let's leave it on medium for now. Um, maybe a little. Uh, I'm starting to notice it now, but I don't even know if that's. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't the DLSS.
Where are those guys at that we're talking? I think we left them behind, but I don't think we need to go back to them. Oh, there they are. And another one of these big beasts down here. There's got to be collectibles down here, right? Should we go down and check that out before moving on? Or should we come back and do it later? Yeah, we'll come back. Let's go! What do you say, buddy? Up for a little detour? Just turn all those settings back, and now we are going into an enclosed area. Welcome, Jedi. Centauri Kree. The path that we must walk is not always immediately visible to us. Only through patience, careful thought, and the wisdom of the Force. How is she talking to us? Are we hearing like a force? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Like I would I would hope it would affect something like this shimmer that we have going along this this rope. But it doesn't seem to change anything, does it? believe something is behind the abyss that's right a planet well I hope it's worth all this effort two Jedi discuss the burgeoning abyss project and whether its success will merit the current investment into Kobo hmm bring that ball with us through this crack. push that open. We got a ball right there that we can grab.
I get it up there from here? What happened if this fell down? I don't know. Let's not try it just yet. Just throw it over there for now. Oh, what? <laughs> and it went back over there. Uh, that's big. Oh, dug on it. Okay, so. <laughs> that didn't work. I wonder if I can temporarily put it over there. Maybe. Tossing it, restored it right where it was. the elevator back down <laughs> oh no uh, no don't despair <laughs> Can we like run across and try to get there in time? And we do have a wall that we can run on. Here, let's do this first. Any reason not to come this way first? Okay, we need a ball for right there. And, uh, what's the point of this? Okay. No, I can figure this out. Um, I mean, what is the point of going along over there? What happens if we do this? Yeah, I don't... It doesn't seem like there's any point in going across the broken one. Although it looks like we should have been able to. Yeah, what would have been the benefit? Although we do need... Unless we need that ball. That's a possibility? If we need that ball down there? Hey, we're Fox! Happy Thursday. How... How you doing? You're getting on kind of late. You've been up to. I mean, either way, even if we use the ball over there for the broken one, I still don't see what the advantage is. 
Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Doing chores. My Padawan is impatient. Weren't we all once? The question is, how will he overcome it? She sounded familiar. Two Jedi Knights discuss their struggling student. Nature of growth. Padawan trying to think their way out of the puzzle becomes briefly frustrated. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still um, perplexed. That I feel like we skipped something that we shouldn't have skipped. But we're up here. I'm guessing Z might know about this. No, I don't think we can. If we had that switch over here, we could grab the ball from that. So maybe that's why we have to go back over the broken version. So we can bring that ball up here. Alright. Let's try that. His hair looks so silly when he drops. This is I even though I think I like the Fallen Order hairstyle better. I think it looks a little too goofy when he's falling down. <laughs> that that alone might make me want to put his hair back to the new style. Oh no! <laughs> I was I went too quickly. Scan? What do you want to scan, BD? Oh, hello. Very nice. Scratchy writing on a wall, written in hasty and easily translated childish cipher. Meet at the usual place later? Really? <laughs> taking this <laughs> I don't know where there is a place to put it I'm assuming we were supposed to be doing this but I'm actually like I don't know where to put it can I get to this from here oh we can okay that works did it. I'm finished. That was it. Why do I feel like we missed something, though? Like, what? what is this tunnel over here? What is the point of it? Yeah, we got an opening right here. And a place that we can put a ball. Let's see. We grab that from here. Yes, we can. Ah, 
Aha. Nice. All right, I think we're done with the area now. I hope there wasn't something in that room other than the ball. We actually didn't try to go in there. Doesn't look like it though. Hopefully not. Should we go back and tell her what we found? <laughs> that would be the nice thing to do. But I kind of want to continue on with the mission. Throwing people off what I think the Empire want with a backwater planet like Kobo. Just for do them to be do, buddy. small steps. Look at this short haircut we got. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's better than some of the ones we saw at what's her faces. Bo Bobas. So what'd you find? Short straw. Imperial supplies addressed to squadron 013. The shipment was meager in the first place. Rations already exhausted. These troops were disorganized, disengaged, and desperate. Right. Is there any reason to be fighting this guy down here? The array should be up through there. Think that creature's a heavy sleeper? Oh. Okay, so now I'm really confused. So I thought this way was going to be the way we needed to go. But apparently down through here might be the actual way we need to go. Where did we even see her? Where is she at? I don't know. I want to go back and talk to her. I don't remember where she was. Oh, here she is. We did it. What's the best place to get a drink in the Reach? I hear Pailoon Saloon is the spot to beat. I was afraid you'd say that. One day, someone will open up another cantina. What? We're not telling her what we found? <laughs> Why not? She told us to go check it out. 
<laughs> uh, what? All right, all right. So now I'm I'm lost. If if going down there takes us to the main objective, then what the heck is the stuff up here? Oh man, did we not open a shortcut back up here? I gotta run along the wall again. Go find out, I guess. Maybe it's an alternate path? This looks familiar. Oh no! Too early. This terminal will have to wait. Okay. This may have been a waste of time if it's a bunch of places that we can't access yet. Guess the platform isn't here. <laughs> Looks old. So you might want to take a look at this. You don't think? I mean, we did find this. But yeah, there's some stuff up here that's... off limits. We don't have access to yet. Blocked path and elevator switch. Alright. Well, that's fine. So we're gonna have to come back here. Oh yeah, see? Like, we... I don't know what to do with these things yet. There's some kind of pathway or obstacle that we can't get access to yet. <clears throat> Jeez, how do we do that? Alright, good to know. Kind of makes me wish we had explored this when we first were up here. Alright, let's head towards the main objective. Again. I still want to know if we can run along here. Let's see. Uh, nope, there's an invisible barrier there. <laughs> I mean, it's like begging for you to try. Could have dropped down on these guys. I forgot we rested. So here they are again. Hey, fellas. Wakey, wakey. You guys coming down? Too afraid to come down. No. What's the point of breaking these? Can we use this against him? I bet I can beat you. This is seriously too high for them to drop down. That seems crazy, right? Nice. 
Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We'll have to take a look at those. I've gotten two of that set so far. Unavailable in combat. We're not in combat. What the heck? Oh, I gotta kill that guy? Oh. Yeah, you better run. Biomall pools. Pools are filled with volcanic mud that bubbles up through fissures from deep beneath the surface. Biomoss frequently lounge in these pools, becoming covered in and fortified by the substance. This second skin is very familiar, very similar to the basalt columns that define the landscape. He's, he seems to be content just sleeping. Somehow we didn't wake him up. <laughs> We just threw him inside that guy, and he doesn't care. Is he gonna fight him? <laughs> what is he doing? What am I doing? Why is this guy asleep? Get him, Stormtrooper. Fight him. Woke him up from that. Get him, Stormtrooper! <laughs> oh no. You're not doing so good, buddy. No, keep fighting him. Why me? A robot! What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Can't do anything. Where'd the stormtrooper go? live to see another day. Go back to sleep. Don't know what that stuff is, but definitely doesn't look safe. What? <coughs> oh, yeah. It's hard to breathe. Thanks. Can we just hold our breath? Going through it. Oh gosh, it's all over us. Ah. Get off of me. Look at it all. I drop down. I don't want to drop down. <laughs> How am I getting through all this? Oh. 
High Republic data disk. I bet Z would have some use for it. Good night, MP. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. I'm sure Cleo is saying good night spiritually in her head. You think this substance has anything to do with the array? Thank you, MP. Always a good friendly reminder. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't yet already, be like MP. I very much appreciate it. Hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you. Thank you. Kobo dust. Highly volatile matter unique to the system of the galaxy. Without further analysis, the elements comprising this gaseous substance remains a mystery. Gaseous? Hmm. It looked cool. It's very strange. It looks neat, though. Isaiah, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. How, so how this is the work goes of Santari it? Kree. If the rest of Z's story is true, the key to Tantalor should be around here somewhere. feeds into that central tower. Maybe that's where we'll find answers. I need to focus. Then what is this going to be? The power of friendship. I wish it didn't... Not. I wish it didn't conceal what... What these other ones are going to be. Because, like, whether or not I decide to get this... Depends on what this is. Because I'm like, I don't feel like his healing speed is that bad. Hold B to automatically evade incoming melee attacks? That sounds useful. I need a second skill point to do it. Huh. So you don't even have to time it? I'm assuming you would still want to time it if you wanted to do a perfect evade. But this would allow you to just automatically evade? I don't know. And it uses force, though. So I guess that's the downfall? I have no idea. There's evading, use, force. Lunging strike now for further reaches. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just save our point for now. I've got so many skills that are now costing two. This one costs three.
All set. Ready to work, BD? It's pretty neat looking. Look at the detailing on it. That's kind of cool. I can definitely work with that. Patience. Where do we get this? So this is the diligence one. I wouldn't mind getting away from all of these just so we have and start using something unique. Making our own unique setup. I don't like that the gold end though it's like too much but that's exactly what's being colored I want to keep the accents up top without changing that one or, or yeah I, I want to just change the, the bottom that's unfortunate High shine instead, maybe. See how it handles. Did I just make it significantly more boring? A chance to focus on my equipment. Leo's awake. She doesn't know what she's looking at. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know why that bugs me. It's just that solid colored bottom that really bugs me with it. Gear could use a refresh. I guess I'm just gonna switch it back to what we had before. Cause I, I like having the gold accents. But yeah, this middle part bugging the crap out of me. I can't change just that color, sadly. Here's the irony, of course, is that you can barely tell that it has the gold accents at all now without that middle piece. Because I removed the, um, I removed the top part. Time for an upgrade. I'd rather start changing these up. Because it was, um, it was this one here that had the nice accent right there. Even though I like this, I like the detailing on it, but... Until we get some cutscenes, I don't know how honestly significant that's going to end up being. to it. No cutting through this stuff. A cobalt barrier. Impenetrable barrier of highly magnetized dust-like matter. Standard manipulation is ineffective against this structure, proving resistant even to lightsaber strikes. Is this the same stuff that we encountered in that building? Maybe once we figure out a way to get rid of it, maybe we can get inside that building. Oh look, there's a collectible inside of it, yeah. We gotta figure out how to get rid of it. What is that big thing over there? Power's out. A crazy big bird this over there. It's been abandoned and forgotten. I guess C didn't forget. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. No, I guess as I was supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. The force push didn't work on the other side of it. Crazy beak. Is, does this mouth open sideways? I think that creature is trapped. I can't cut it free. Let's pass under it for now. Oh uh, no. We can't set it free. What? What did you see? Thank you, BD. How did he get stuck in it? Was he sleeping? It creeped up on him? crazy thing. Oh no! <laughs> he knocked us down. Let's find another path. Ah. We might be able to help it later. Not all of them 
are dead. Something around here has a big appetite. What? Unavailable during combat? Are you for real? Because of that one guy down there? Screeching at me? Oh, why can't I throw down? I can throw up, but I can't throw down. Got a mustache. <laughs> what is it like a Lando look? All right, let's go. Oh, no, another one of these guys. Never seen tech like this before. Auxiliary array telescope. These generators charge the air with highly excited energy currents, similar to both power and danger to interstellar ionic storms. The looks of the structure is rampant rust and overgrowth that hasn't been put to use. Since I scrapped decades. some serious machines on Braca. seen this tech before, just not on this scale. Curious picture of the High Republic era Jedi technology that stabilizes, focuses, and magnifies the erratic potential energy stored in the Koba orb. Oh, so is this like basically the same material that creates the bridges? It's just in a hardened form? Like Z's chamber. Should we bring this with us? Where couldn't we put it? Is there somewhere else we can put it? Hmm. Whoa. 
there is a place where we can put it. I don't see it. How are these guys just chilling in here and not dying? Yeah. That's still breathing. All the critters around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. Another den. ability we learned hmm light saber throws deal more damage yeah it could be Andy if we wanted to use it Time to move. Won't open from this side. That could be trouble. Or maybe it could lend us a hand. I see. Man, is this the way we needed to be going? Because we didn't continue on in the other direction. I don't know if we missed something going on the upper path. Okay, we can't go this way. It's got those things. What? Yeah, this is gonna have to wait. Alright. Something up there. 
I want to go up there and get whatever that is. Hmm. Is there a way to get up there? Or do we have to wait for that too? Again. I'm your ally. What? No. What? <laughs> what if there's nobody around? Even though you convince them you're your they're your ally, they just keep fighting you anyway. Why? Ah, of course. So we finally got the colors for this, did we? Yeah, just I'm not really feeling the cape. Don't think I'm a cape cape kind of guy. What? <laughs> what? I don't know what else to say. See her, I, I, I thought... No, you didn't think. You perceived a threat and reacted. If the Order had reacted faster, we'd still have a Republic. The Empire, the Haxine brood, half the galaxy wants us dead. Yes. <laughs> the odds are against us. But they will always be against us. Cal, you can't fight your way out of some situations. Hmm. <laughs> we can tame it. It's kind of weird that I'm playing this in Ark at the same time. <laughs> Is this gonna... This has gotta give us access to some of those things. What are we doing with a tamed this version of this thing? To Relter tame. Cal can now glide with Relters. Okay. 
<laughs> Where are we just gonna hang on to its legs? So no, this like is more like speed. <laughs> what the heck? How are we not hurting this thing? Uh, what? Is that a big version of the little guys we've been fighting this whole time? Oop, Zoe is jumping down on my lap. Don't stand on the keyboards, girl. Is it just the same size? It looked bigger from a distance. It doesn't look so big now. Why isn't it fighting us? Sneak up on this guy. Draw him down here? Why is he just floating right here? Get back here, intruder! Surrender, intruder! Oh, I see. We're just gonna take it to somewhere else. This entire structure is the array. But what's it for? Glide me. Why did they post me here? All right, all right. Let's look. Complexity of the subterranean mechanisms operating the arrays above ground ionic beams is difficult to imagine. Well, the apparatus has clearly not been moved in years. A way to control it must still exist.
No, we freed it. Alright. That did the trick. Let's move. I don't know where the next save point is. I wonder if we should go back and save before moving forward here. These, we have one more that we can pick up here. We gotta shoot this stuff. I need to center myself. Get him, blue stuff. Stuck in this stuff. Looks like that weird matter around here can take on various forms. Uh, Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers. Didn't I open that door? Yeah. That was supposed to be a shortcut. What happened? Fight together. That looks like a very large and deep hole. Hmm. I feel like I could get over there. Do we need this ball? Uh, I was incorrect. Right. So we need to find a ball somewhere.
Get through here. Oh wait, we can't get through here. Did we even try this door? We did. That's right, we came up here. I see. Perfect. Perfect. Can I jump while holding this? It's so weird. What? <laughs> Request a hint. Hold down to request a hit from BD1. Oh, okay. That works. I don't know what the correct approach was that. I wonder what the hints are like. This is the second time we've now got a prompt Familiar got a possible hint. The same mechanisms powered Z's chamber. We're getting close. The only ones interested in the array. This place is very cool looking. You would think, uh, you know, just taking a small uh, shuttlecraft or something would have made this significantly easier. Or, you know, a Mandalorian rocket pack, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, sorry, I missed your message, where folks, if you're watching this in bed. <laughs> Good night, sleep well, or if you're watching in the future. We've searched all over the array, buddy. This is our last stop. The key to Tantalor is real, it has to be here. And if not, maybe Z does have a screw loose. <laughs> All set, BD. That seal looks familiar. This must be where Centauri Cree intended to send Z. The key to Tantalor was sealed away for centuries now. That did it. it sounds like the array is powering up. Time for some answers. Welcome to Tantalor. It's beautiful. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. to believe this paradise was hiding on just the other side of the abyss. Hmm. Come on. I want to show you something. 
Renowned Jedi Knight Dagen Gara offers to be my escort on an uncharted world. <laughs> How could I refuse? Without your guidance, I'd never have made it here in one piece. Oh, careful now. Or someone might think you've learned humility. This is crazy. We're gonna get to play in this area? Inside some kind of vision? Okay, can't go too far that way. Let it blinding us. Well, if you like purple, this place is pretty awesome. It's just as I told you. We'll build the temple here. Yes. My thoughts exactly. Simply wonderful. Yes, it's perfect. I've seen the galaxy, Santari. And there are many worlds that the light of the Jedi does not reach. I'm going to petition the High Council to train initiates here. Bontana Lord. But it can be so challenging to access. What if something were to go wrong? Our temple will be a bastion for the Order. Here at the galactic frontier. The Abyss blocks comm signals. We'll have to invite a member of the Jedi Council to visit in person. Hmm. for hours council members are not known for their hasty judgments especially master run thesis my duel with the gendai didn't take this long you won in the end be patient not one of my strong suits well if you're going to teach younglings you had better learn i have faith in you so does the council Trust them to do the right thing. What's wrong? Warn the others. We're under attack. What? You're not supposed to be here. Release me. Please. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's a good idea. Something seems a little off about this. Yeah. 
happened to your arm, buddy? Corrupted the Republic. Turned it into an empire. They destroyed the Order. They're hunting down those of us that are left. But... You're here now. We can fight them. Together. Return to Tanlor. What happened there? How'd you end up here? We were invaded. I held them at bay as long as I could, but there were too many. The battle was horrific. Still, we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tanalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it? Yes. It was my discovery! My home, and they just expected me to throw it away! Dagon, mm. wait. Mm. I refused to obey <laughs> and was betrayed by the one I trusted most! No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too predictable. What have you done? You made a red crystal. Dude, we're already having to worry about <laughs> Sith. You're scared. Such a pity. Stim, please. Is that it? Behold. That 
wretched order will rue the day they betrayed me in for so Tanalore. Frightened? Why try? You cannot win. Help me! Be I am superior. You just met us. Stand and fight. Still green. Inferior. That's nothing. I need something, buddy. again. They're working together. How's that working? Oh, how old is Ravis? The key to Tantalor. The Kree of Medagon? How could she? Forest Array, located in a vast clearing on the far side of the Basalt Forest, the imposing Forest Array looms large. It was built by the public centuries ago to study the many anomalies on the planet Kobo in the wider sector. Although it has fallen into disrepair in the centuries since the Republic's departure, it is clear that the wide courtyards surrounding the central apparatus were used to test devices that manipulated Kobo matter. In the absence of any caretakers, however, creatures both small and large have taken up residence in the array's nooks. Entrust Tantalor to someone like him. Bacta is a substance used galaxy-wide to aid in healing and recovery. A patient is suspended, usually unconscious, in the liquid for one or more extended sessions. The viscous substance aids in the regeneration of muscle tissue and nerves. We got an entry for him now. We got an entry for Tantalor. It's a planet that lies on the far side of the Kobo Abyss, ensuring its safety from most invaders. Dagon Gera felt a significant connection to the planet and speaks insistently about returning. So, I mean, if we're going to be trying to go to Tantalor, <laughs> it can't. It's probably not going to be too difficult to convince. Agrees to come along. Dagon Gera, Jedi from the High Republic. Dagon blames the Jedi Council for abandoning Tantalor and hints that someone close to him scarred him. Hmm. So did she end up cutting off his arm? Fallen Jedi. At the heart of the forest in the High Republic era facility, Cal discovered a man with one arm preserved in a back to tank. See, this is what we should have read first. I feel like I'm reading these out of order. I probably am. I don't know. Upon touching the tank, Cal experienced another vision in which 
Tari Cree and a Jedi explorer, Dagon Gera, the man in the tank, discuss the promise of Tanalor. Through the Force, Dagon implored Cal to free him, which he did. Upon his release, Dagon blamed the Jedi of Order for his imprisonment, and despite Cal imploring him to join the fight against the Empire, he bled his lightsaber and attacked. Their duel is interrupted by Ravis, who had long been searching for Dagon. The fallen Jedi takes his leave, leaving Cal to contemplate events. Though weakened in his stasis, he is still able to defend himself against some Force powers. And Gera is a Jedi of the High Republic freed from two centuries of stasis in Bacta. Seemingly fallen to the dark side, he attacks wildly, but with all the expertise of a former Jedi of the Order, yeah, I don't understand the relationship with Ravis. We'll assume we'll be explained how this is working. Just need to leave. Are we going back down the elevator or do we have a quick a quick route elsewhere? I'm going to assume we have to go back down the elevator. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Was there a door up there? Maybe there was a door off on that side. Let's see. Is there a door over here to the left? Yeah, it looks like a door. But it does not work. This is making it seem like there's got to be a way for us to go down from here. How do we get down there? Was there a way we could go around through here? Oh, are, are we going to have to drop down on this thing? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, uh, no. else here. Tanalor was supposed to bring us closer, but all it did was divide our order. The council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him. Grief stricken yet hopeful, Centauri Kree gazed up at the Kobo Abyss, not knowing if she would ever see the world that lay beyond it ever again. Never had to see him fall to the dark side. I mean, if she is the one that cut off his arm, he may have been already on his way there, if not already there. Hey, buddy. Where are you taking us? Not a bad view, huh, buddy? 
Wonder if Grease and Bolt fixed the Mantis by now. Okay, let's go. Look at those. I've seen them many times. What? You just said, look at those. I was hoping we were going to get to study them or something. Oh, hello. You're new here, yeah? That's right. Got a place you should check out then. There's this guy, a real fishing enthusiast, putting around in a skiff at the base of the mountain. He's near an Imperial camp. Mind seeing if he's all right? Yeah, no problem. Much appreciated. Recruit the, mis recruit the mysterious fisherman? What? One of the Cobra prospectors tipped you off to an eccentric fisher plying his trade at the base of the mountain. It's Imperial territory, so they would appreciate it if you would check that he's safe. And where am I? I'm way over here. So we're heading back here to check on the mantis. And then this, of course, is right nearby. Alright. That's a definitely a bit of a ways off. Yeah, I want to know about these things. All right, I think we're going to call it there. We've definitely gotten some interesting story beats now, haven't we? Yeah. Taking a turn. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it. I mean, he, he seemed it seemed obvious that he kind of felt like a, there was a sinister vibe going on with releasing him. Definitely a kind of Darth Vader vibe in appearance with him being in the tank and the mask and the breathing. So I'm guessing that was all like purposefully obvious. But yeah, I don't know. Like he seems to be under the impression like giving him the information that's when he turned to the dark side. But I mean, he already had his arm cut off and if he felt betrayed, he he had to have already kind of been on the way there for that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, we're going to call it there. We're going to call it there. Um, the plan is uh, that we are going to be playing some more Ark with Oni tomorrow. Now, I think possibly Cleo is going out of town on Sunday. If that's the case, then normally we don't play on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Um... But if she's going to be out of town on Sunday, we might be back to play more Jedi Survivor on Sunday. So tomorrow, uh, likely, we're going to be doing a play session of Ark with Oni. And then we might be back on Sunday to continue Jedi Survivor. But uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't yet already. Uh, very, very much appreciated. It's something small that goes a long way. And... Uh, Feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified of future streams. And if you are watching this at a later time, thank you for taking the time to do so. Until tomorrow, everybody sleep well, be well, stay chill, stay relaxed. And I will see you then. Good night and goodbye.